all the time, I'm making sure she never goes forward, that everything is natural to start. Because when you do that, you can then just throw your reins away. Because the horse feels that light touch, that every time she goes forward, you stop and back. So now, with the lightest touch, she's never going to go into the bridle, because the minute she does, I'm going to stop and back her. So that when we go lateral, it's lateral, it's not forward. And then you have a very soft touch on your reins. So you teach that by every time the horse pulls you back then? Yes, exactly. As you feel that tension, stop and back up. And get the feeling of lateral, and when they do the lateral soft, you don't pull any harder. You might touch with this whip to make them go a little quicker, but you're not pulling any harder here. But your hand position is crucial. So my hands are here, now, if I want to roll back, I'm going to bring it back to my hip, back here, and then let go as you feel the horse make the spin. Because when you feel that, she'll feel that you never, she never has to grab you. So now she's nice and soft. So when I make the roll back now, here, as she steps, I take my hands forward. So it's on the go. You remember we were talking about the, the feeling of ready? With the inside leg, it's the same steady. as a trot. Outside leg is steady, inside leg is go. So ready, steady, go. Mm. So you let the reins go on go. So when so, I'm spinning here, there's ready, steady, and then I let her move out very gently. And suddenly you've got a horse that was fighting you like this, that is now unbelievably soft coming. Now you've got to teach both sides, remember? And you see, I'll never pull. Hey, hey, I'll never pull. When she starts to touch the face, I keep the tension and make her come off my leg with the tap of the whip. But she understands she's got to go sideways. I'm not going to pull stronger. If she's going into the bridle, okay, okay, okay. We're not going yet. We're not going yet. That's okay. Sorry, okay. well done, you. So now, the touch. You see, though, with this horse, She's slightly unbalanced with the head. Do you see where the head is? So again, like with your grey horse, I'm using the outside rein because she wants to camp and fall in with the neck on the inside and that's the polar cross stooping. Okay. Okay. So when I feel that, I'm going to take the outside rein only and get it turned and then just keep the head straight with the inside rein with a touch and a drop, touch and a drop. Come. And I'll speed her up with a touch of the whip so that she understands when I put my leg on, she's got to go. There's a good girl. Look on. Look on.